What's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 19 tutorial. In this video, we're going to recreate a really, really cool effect as you saw in the thumbnail. So let's say that you're working on a project that includes some footage that has to look like it's been shot like in the 90s, for example, or you have, for example, certain footage that you wish you had shot back then and you only have like the modern version of it. I'm going to recreate today's thumbnail, obviously, as you saw, but of course with video. So let's go ahead and get started right now with the video that I have right here. This one is shot on my iPhone. So of course I didn't use my official like GH5 because with the full quality, like 20, 30 years ago, you wouldn't really have access to that quality yet. So of course I tried to get the lowest quality possible to get this effect. So obviously I'm gonna first show you the before and the after. So this is basically what it looks like right before I have applied all the effects on it. We're gonna go over today. And this is basically the end result. It looks really, really nice. And it's done so easily with just a few seconds simple steps. All right, so now that we are in Vegas Pro, we just have our raw clip that we have shot. I'm just going to show you what it looks like. It's just a still shot from the rack and the amplifier. So to get as close as possible to like the pixelated quality that we had like in the 90s and the early 2000s, what we need to do is we need to obviously have less quality than we have right here. So I actually found a really good trick for that. So we're not going to go into Vegas and use like a pixelate effect or something like this. What I found the most efficient is to just take your raw clip and upload that onto YouTube as a private video. All right, guys, so as you can see right now, you don't really want to fill in, for example, anything important because this is not gonna be public or something like this. We're gonna only use this video on YouTube to lower the quality to 240p and then capture that and then use that in our video. So I'm just gonna call this, for example, like title. We don't have to do anything. We just have to make sure that everything will be uploaded privately onto YouTube. So I'm going to click on preview of course obviously that means private in Dutch then we're gonna hit save and we're gonna wait until this video has finished uploading all right guys so this is the video preview obviously it is private right here this is looking very very close to like the quality you would have back then so right now you have the quality so obviously we have like 144p if you want to go really extreme but obviously when it comes to like text and all of this I wouldn't really pick 144p because the text won't even be readable but if you have for example something like this like you are able to identify this object with this quality from this distance so you could use this one but I'm going to pick 240p just a little bit better and then what you need to do is just screen capture this for example use OBS or you can just go for example like this go full screen and then we can just go and play it back like this and this is basically the footage that we will be using in Vegas so while this is running you want to make a video out of that to capture this really really pixelated more kind of quality so once we have completed that, we can now go back to Vegas and drag in the screen capture file that we just made of this video on YouTube. And obviously you can just remove this video right now from YouTube. It was just solely the purpose to get the quality that we have and right here to make it look as close as like the 90s and the early 2000s. All right guys, so this is the quality that we have shot it in and this is the video that we have just captured from YouTube. So that looks really, really nice. So now we can move on to the next step, which is obviously adding this kind of pixel overlay. I'll leave the download link to that file in the description down below so you guys can go and download that after this video. So let me drag in the file and let me show you what I'm talking about. So this is the VHS overlay as you can see right here. So if I play this back, this is like the stereotypical like pixelation you would see like so many years ago on these cameras. So that's what we're going to use as an overlay over our video. But obviously first our video, 9 out of 10, your video would be captured in a square resolution and not like 16 by 9. So we're going to make this one a square first of all so we're going to click on the event pan crop icon right here and then we can just make a square for example ourselves but there are already presets from vegas itself that you can browse so if you want to use this one that looks really really cool and this looks way closer to like so many years ago when you would capture this on this camera so now that we have chosen this preset as you can see the 4 by 3 standard tv aspect ratio we can go and close this out and then we can go and create a new video Video track to place our overlay on top of it as you can see right here all right so now that we have the overlay on it we're obviously we're not seeing anything because we need to go to the track of the overlay and then we're going to place this one from the compositing mode from source alpha to screen 
Bam. So now that you can see through it, this is what it looks like, but it's not really optimized when it comes to the resolution. So I'm just going to go to the track motion icon on the very left of the track. So now we're gonna just resize this one a little bit. So now that it looks way better like that. So we have play in the corner, just like this. You can just position it, for example, like that a little bit more. This is what it looks like so far, as you guys can see. Obviously you can lower the opacity of the overlay just a little bit if you think that the pixelation is a little bit too much. I'm gonna keep this all the way up because I really like this vintage look, but obviously you can also trim down like the edges because if you're gonna use this aspect ratio in your video, then obviously you will see also the grain and you, people will tell that it's an overlay. So now we're gonna trim this down to the end of the video, just like that. And now we're going to go to the event pan crop icon of the overlay. And now we're gonna also go and click on the mask icon on the very bottom. And we're going to just draw a square just like this. And then we can use these sides if you pay attention to the video preview. As you can see, this is what it looks like if you go over it. And you just wanna make sure that it will touch the edge very precisely. So just that we have a nice black solid color right here so people won't tell that you use an overlay. So now we're gonna also do that on the other side, make sure that it is nice and even. All right, so now we have achieved this one. We could actually use this, but it has a little bit too much contrast to saturation. So we're gonna go to the video effects tab right here and we're gonna go down to the color corrector secondary and we're gonna drag on the default onto our video that we shot from our phone or your other camera. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag down the saturation just a little bit. And if you notice right here, this is what it will look like. So this is obviously normal. And if I drag it down just a little bit, it gives us more of a vintage look. And now if you play it back, this is basically the end result. It looks really, really cool. And it looks like it's just been filmed in like 1999 or 1998, for example. And this is how you can achieve this really cool effect, guys. It is super simple. You can just go and apply these effects onto your main video. And if you take away the overlay, this is just what the regular video looks like just a little less saturation and the overlay you got to do some cropping obviously and that is basically how to achieve this effect guys thanks a lot for watching the overlay download link is in the description down below so you guys can go ahead and download it and use it in your project make sure to go to your track of the overlay and place the compositing mode to screen to be able to see through the black and that's it thanks a lot for watching guys and i'll see you obviously in the next video. Are you a content creator looking for effects to bring your videos to a whole new level? Welcome to Production Crate. Production Crate is the resource for graphics, visual effects, music, and much more. On top of that, these assets are compatible with your editing software. Get your unlimited free effects today or premium effects for only $49 a year. Make it awesome.